Welcome back to the channel. I want to show you guys how to add a couple angles when you only have two cameras and you need more angles on a multi-camera clip. So to make a multi-cam clip, you select both clips, right click and choose create new multi-cam clip using selected clips. You can rename it, call it multi. For angle sync, I'd suggest using sound channel, go for mix in case one of the channels isn't responding. And then optional, you could move source clips to originals bin. I selected that off and then hit create. And so we have this multicam clip here, but if you look, we have four angles. So let's jump over to the edit page and I'll show you how to add the additional angles. So from your bin here, you can actually open up your multicam clip in the timeline. So here's our multicam, right click and say open in timeline. So that opens the sync and the camera angles as it sits. Now by default, we only had two camera angles in here like this, an A and a B cam. And if we zoom in, you can see the two claps are in sync. So there's B cams clip and here's A cams clip. So they're both in sync. And now to get the extra two angles, essentially you option command and choose B cam video A and B, and then option copy them to the top. So we have a duplicate of A right here and a duplicate of B. The A cam, we just take the second copy and as you can see by the inspector, I just zoomed it in a little bit. So it's just a tighter shot of the A. And same thing with the B cam, I just zoomed in a little bit. And then as long as they're enabled on this timeline, they'll be ready for you inside your multicam clip. So see if we disable the secondary A cam, you can see angle three is no longer available. So this is like a live representation of this multicam clip. Now to get them to match as far as color goes, you got to separate these into groups. So choose the A cam, shift six over to the color page, and you'll see on the thumbnail, we got this little green chain here. It's because I've assigned it to a group. Now, if you don't have a group assigned, you only have like a clip node under here and a timeline node, which I've shown you on another video. But when you make them, group clips, you'll get the pre and the post clip. So how you do that is, so you right click on the thumbnail and then you say add in a new group and you can name the group whatever you need. I already named an A and a B cam. Name it and then that group becomes available. You right click and then you could say groups, A cam, assign to group. Then you go back to your edit page, disable the first A cam, Go to the second A cam, back to your color page, hit the thumbnail, and then say groups assigned to the A cam. So now if you go over to your color, you have these three dots here or this drop down. And if you choose group preclip, you'll get this little different outline on your node. And you can see this is where I added a little bit of a color correction. So since this is group preclip, so now that's like that on both the A cam and the B cam. So now if we look at both of these, you can see both A cams match in color. And then if we open the B cam, both B cams match in color. So everything's graded the same how I like it. I only had to do it on the first two clips. So now we're done with the multicam clip timeline. So we can shut that down. Now I have one called multicam edit. You could see it says angle one, angle two, angle four. So what you do is you get your dual screen viewer up here. You grab your multicam clip and drop it into your preview source monitor. And then very important on the drop down, choose multicam. And then as you go through, if you want to switch clips. So here I went to angle two right there. You just click on that and there's a little blade that pops up when you hover over any of the clips. So if we wanted to switch this clip to say clip three, we would hit it, it would make a cut and switch. Since I'm not on there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit option. You can see it turns to a little film strip and that'll replace this clip with angle three. So now we have these two and they're still all in sync as you could see. Now, if we wanted to cut, right here where the playhead is, I can just choose a different angle and we'll go angle two. Now you can see in the timeline that switches over. So now we have these 
two extra angle options. And then just keep in mind that this preview window doesn't actually show the zoomed in versions. So angle three and four are the zoomed of each the A and B. But when you get to the timeline, you can see angle four is this close up version of the other one. And it highlights it in blue with whatever one you happen to be on. So there's three, there's four. If we go back to angle one, so you can see that it switches back and forth to the zoomed in versions appropriately, even though it doesn't reflect it right here on the preview window. All right, that's how you can add extra angles and color them up with the group setting. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.